Are you sure? Are you sure? Are you sure? Let's go see. What was it? You're such a liar. You're such a liar. It's gonna get you. Where'd it go? Are you mad? Are you mad? What are you gonna get? What are you gonna get? Good job. How about this? You want this? Leaves? Oh. What? What was that? How about this one? Ready? I'm gonna get it. I'll get it. Haha, <laughs> I got it. You fell down. You gonna hide? Where are you going? That's all nice and muddy. You can't have that. It's in the mud spot, so you can't cover it. Hey, you want under? Ready? Go ahead. Okay, let's go. Rocket. Good job. You want to cuddle? Yeah, come on. Let's get you some water, but let's cuddle. Come here. Thank you. Yeah, good job. Watch these behaviors constantly. And we get Dr. Kathy Murphy and um, vet behaviorists talk about the cycle of stress where you have to use that stress so that you can need to calm down. And then when you have emotional support during and after, just like effective dog behavior has been saying for, I don't know, as long as I've been in the industry, you gotta use it. When they can use it safely, you're helping them process. You okay? Because they walk away doesn't mean they're done. This is another aspect of emotional support. Come on, let's go find you some water. When they walk away, it means they've had their fill of endogenous opioids. When you engage with them afterwards, it means, are you ready to go? Yeah, let's go cool off. Come on, we can come in here. You want your bed? Did I forget your bed? You want it? So much cooler in there. Yeah. When they walk away, it doesn't mean they're done. It might be them trying to say, hey, can you come with me? I just don't need the touch right now. <gasps> oh, look what I found later. I found it. And here's a good ball because it has a hole in both ends. All right, I'll leave that there. We'll go soon. We'll, I'm gonna go find you some more water. This is all helping them through the stress that happened four minutes ago exactly. It's not a one and done deal. Yeah, all that panting, all that ear stuff. It's from that, the use of those neurochemicals from the barking at the fence, and then the playing, using those stress neurochemicals with somebody, creating a game, and then coming over getting cuddles. Yeah, I'll go get you some water, but I gotta go inside. I'll be right back. Because I don't know what else to do because I'm pet sitting. And we're borrowing somebody's house. Be right back. So when we talk about, like I said, Kim Brophy's using this. Vet behavior, behavior vets are using this. Using the cycle of stress. If you look up defense cascade, you're gonna see the exact same thing. If you look up effective dog behavior, you're gonna see the exact same thing. 
Oh, you can see Rocket looking for me. Sorry, my hair's all twisted. But this is how it works. When you have stress, you're supposed to use it so that you can calm down. So that, and when you do it with somebody, then your parasympathetic nervous system wants to settle. When you put in a lot of effort and energy, your dopamine decreases below baseline. In order to keep it at a baseline or bring it back up to a baseline, you have to be able to rest. Without that rest, you're just creating a new, new baseline. That's the part they don't talk about. This is Scott with Effective Dog Behavior. We do talk about it and more. Have a great day.